is predominantly an agriculture-oriented country. India has a history of producing some of the most sought-after spices. Our country has for long been the largest producer, consumer and exporter of spices. But the vast potential for spices trading in the international market is yet to be tapped. As a farmer who has been producing spices for years, you can demand a better price for your produce should you comply with the global standards of farming. To enter the global market for spices, it is crucial for farmers to comply with good agricultural and manufacturing practices, as well as to address issues like traceability and sustainability. Spices Board provides training for farmers in good agricultural practices. GAP starts even before the planting stage and covers each and every step along the way, including post-harvest processing. Good agricultural practices describes do's and do nots in a farming system. So it involves integrated nutrition management, integrated pest management, integrated disease management, wherein we advocate the judicious use of chemical and uh, fertilizers, more use of uh, biocontrol agents, organic minerals and bio inputs. Before sowing the seeds, the soil needs to be prepared. The Spices Board provides guidance to farmers in pest and disease management and tips on soil preparation and testing. The board advises on the judicious usage of fertilizers and pesticides and other cultural operations. We have developed integrated nutrient management practices for cattle. And based on the soil analysis report, the recommendation is given for fertilization to the planting community. <laughs> Spices Board offers replanting and rejuvenation schemes for cardamom. The Spices Board has an irrigation and land development scheme. This scheme aims to develop perennial water resources by constructing water storage devices like farm ponds and wells, installation of irrigation equipment like small irrigation pump sets, sprinkler sets and gravity irrigation equipment, and soil and water conservation methods. Scheme is also available for rainwater harvesting. This scheme helps in harvesting rainwater for irrigation using excavated storage tanks lined with UV-resistant sill pollen sheets. This method of harvesting rainwater is being used because of its low cost and convenience. Integrated pest and disease management is a systematic approach to the use of plant protection chemicals so that their residues do not become a problem. The use of IPM and IDM kits are beneficial as there is less chance of pests becoming tolerant to the chemicals 
and it also helps in producing quality products. Spices Board also offers subsidies for post-harvest improvement. Spices Board has evaluated and introduced a number of curing methods and promoted modified Bhatti's system. Spices Board is providing subsidies for construction of such modified Bhatti's. We give assistance for uh, threshing equipments like individual farmers threshers and for groups also for group thresher. After threshing, you need a clean surface for drying for which we are giving subsidy for purchase of polythene sheets, bamboo mats and things like that. We give facilities uh, for boilers and uh, polishers like in the case of turmeric. Spices Board also operates common processing facilities known as Spice Park for processing and value addition of spices and spice products across the nation. These spice parks offer processing facilities at par with international standards. Today, the demand for Indian spices is on the rise owing to its peculiar geographic and climatic conditions. Adopting good agricultural practices at par with the international quality standards will make the Indian products unmatched and unparalleled. This will empower the farmers to demand a premium price for their products, which will in turn make India the chosen supplier for quality spices.